Jesus said to her, Do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to my Father. But go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father and to my God and your God. John 20, 17. Wonderful words to a disciple on the first day of the week. Mary Magdalene was deeply saddened by the sight of her Lord being crucified and buried. He was everything to her. What could she do? Where could she go? She came early in the morning on the first day of the week with no prospect in view but to see his grave. What a surprise to see the stone rolled away from the entrance to the grave. An angel had rolled it away, not to let the Lord out, but to reveal that the tomb was empty, for he was no longer there. Mary, standing outside weeping, stooped down to look into the grave and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet of where the Lord had lain. She was not even interested in the wondrous sight of angels, but told them that her Lord had been taken away and she didn't know where he was. Mary turned her back on the angels and saw Jesus standing nearby, although she did not recognize him and thought he might be the gardener, until he said to her, Mary, Jesus had a message for her. Do not cling to me, but go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, and to my God and your God. This was a wonderful message indeed to be carried by a woman of faith. It seemed that the Lord was telling Mary that she would no longer have him on earth, but she would have him on a far higher level in the very presence of his God and Father. This is true for every soul who has been saved by trusting the Lord Jesus. His blessings now are in heavenly places since our Lord and Savior is there. He has been raised from the dead and glorified at the Father's right hand. J.T. Mawson